Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a tutorial review in a beginner's video guide for Windows 10. Okay, I have turned on my Windows 10 laptop computer and I received the Microsoft Windows Blue icon in the center of the screen and then I get the please wait screen and that doesn't take too long before the uh, Windows 10 lock screen comes on and I press the space bar on the keyboard and that prompts me to log into um, my Microsoft Windows account I type in my password and click on the arrow key or the enter key and I receive the welcome screen and after that goes away I am placed right into the Windows desktop instead of taking you to the Windows start screen now there's two ways to get to the start screen once you're on the desktop one is press the Windows key on your keyboard and that will take you to the start screen and to get back to the desktop you press the Windows key once again now you can also go down here and click on the um, start screen icon and that brings up the uh, start screen as well in Windows 10 for you. Now once open I can go up on the left hand side here and see the most used apps at any given time. And I can also take a look at the recently used apps and then I can go all the way down here and click on all apps and that allows me to um, you know scroll up and down and uh, have access to any app that's installed on uh, this laptop computer and I'm scrolling with my center wheel I can also grab the scroll bar and move it up and down also now click the back button and uh, I'm back where I was I can scroll up and down on on the bar for the GUI apps and I can also grab it and stretch it to the right and then put it back to the original size and I can also do that um, vertically as well now I can also right click on one of these apps and I can uh, unpin it from the start I can resize it, I can turn it off, or I can pin it to the taskbar as well. So I'm going to go ahead and resize the picture app uh, to a wide, and it makes it wider. Now I can uh, go back and, of course, right click and put it back to um, medium. And as you can see, it does leave a blank space. Now this gives me an opportunity to grab an app and move it into that position and uh, so it's very user friendly and you can customize it to uh, your taste. Now we can go ahead and go back down to the start menu here and right click with our mouse and that's going to bring up the hidden menu that you uh, normally would see in Windows 8.1 as well and uh, it has things like the control panel that we can click on and open that up on our desktop and that allows us to um, pretty much see anything that we would normally have seen in the control panel in Windows 7 and Windows 8 and 8.1 um, let's just go ahead and click on program and uh, features here and that opens up the um, uninstall and change a program uh, window where I can uh, certainly uninstall a program that's been installed on this computer if I choose to okay let me go ahead and close this out and let's go ahead and take a few moments to talk about Cortana a new and exciting new feature within Windows 10 it's almost like having your personal assistant um, to help you do things. Um, it can do um, things like remind you to do something that you need to have done. Um, by using your voice you can give it tasks to do. Um, you can dictate messages. Um, you can chat. Um, you can also find stuff on your um, computer or on any device, on the web, on the OneDrive. Um, that you um, are searching for and uh, it also gives you the ability to keep you um, posted on status of uh, packages and flights as well as uh, news and scores and traffic uh, the weather and it even has the ability to give you some jokes 
Okay, another new item in Windows 10 is the notification icon down on the taskbar down here. So let's go down here and click on this icon and uh, that opens up the Action Center control panel. And uh, right here you get notifications and system messages and even emails. Um, and then down here you have access to some quick utilities and items like tablet mode, um, your connect, you can connect to other wireless devices. And then over here we have the Microsoft OneNote that you can have access to. And then PC settings, um, battery saver mode. Um, we have can the ability to add a VPN connection, um, adjust the brightness on our display, and we can uh, adjust and connect uh, to our uh, network connections here. And then we have quiet hours that we can turn on and off, location on and off, and also airplane mode that we can turn on and off. Now let's go back up to the tablet mode here and click on that. Um, icon and uh, that opens up the tablet mode. Now the desktop goes away and uh, you end up with this GUI interface and then we can come down here and certainly click on here or actually on the tablet it would be a touch screen and this is great for, for um, a touch screen um, tablet or, or laptop. Um, so let's go back over and click on notification and then click on tablet mode again and that takes us back to our desktop mode which is great for desktops and laptops that are using a, uh, a keyboard and mouse and if we click on notifications again and we click on settings that will open up Windows settings window and the first item is system where you can adjust your display settings um, notifications, um, your apps, and your power settings. The next is devices where you can adjust your Bluetooth, printers, and mouse, network and internet for Wi-Fi, airplane mode, and VPN, Personal um, personalization for backgrounds, lock screen, colors, um, you know, um, wallpaper, and so forth, your user account settings, and uh, you can add and manage those there and uh, to adjust your time and change your language would be under this setting here and then the ease of access um, you can adjust um, and turn on um, certain utilities that makes it more user friendly and then you can adjust your privacy uh, privacy settings which uh, turns on your location and uh, camera turns them off and of course your update and security settings as well so there's a lot of settings in here that I will not go through um, at this time it's just not enough time to do that but I'll show you a few under systems um, and notifications. Um, there's a setting down here that says uh, select which icons appear on your taskbar down here. Um, you can actually turn them on and off, make them appear, make them disappear. And let's just pick one here, the first one. Um, and um, I'll pick on the um, speaker or the volume uh, icon and we'll turn that off and as you can see it is no longer there and if I turn it back on it reappears again down in the uh, taskbar. So um, that's a handy little um, setting to uh, take advantage of and uh, I find it um, very useful because a lot of times I don't want all those icons down on my uh, taskbar. Okay back um, to uh, the settings window and let's go ahead and close this out and keep in mind there's a lot more settings in there that you can adjust. Okay back to the Windows 10 start screen and we're going to click on Microsoft Edge which is a new internet browser for Windows 10. Um, it gives you um, the ability to search faster in the address bar also gives you ability to write on any web page 
and uh, Cortana and Microsoft Edge work together in this new uh, internet browser. Now IE is still available in Windows 10 also keep that in mind. Okay um, the next item I want to go over okay to quickly and easily put a um, an app on our desktop we can bum our start menu uh, grab it drag it and drop it onto our desktop and then position it anywhere we like on our desktop and now we have the ability to open up that app in this case the calculator on our desktop um, by clicking on the desktop icon now keep in mind this did not remove it from the start menu it simply made a link to the desktop icon and so we can go back to the start menu and see that it's still in the start menu and if we right click we can pin it to start and we could also pin it to the taskbar so let's do that and as you can see it placed an icon down on our taskbar which we can click and open up uh, the calculator at any time we want we can also right click and unpin it from the taskbar as well Windows 10 has another very exciting new feature it's called virtual desktops and the way we get to it is we click on this little icon down here and when we do we see the plus sign on the right hand side here and we if we click it it creates another virtual desktop and I'll click it three times and I now have three desktops that literally I can use to multitask at any given time I can click here and move from desktop to desktop and run different applications I can open the calculator on desktop number two and I can use um, the calculator as much as I like and I can go over to desktop number one and as you can see the calculator is not open in desktop number one now the virtual desktops um, are almost unlimited depending on your resources um, you know your memory and the uh, performance of your computer now to close it you simply click the X and then we're back to a single original desktop um, in Windows 10 and let me go ahead and close the calculator out okay that's it for this tutorial subscribe and like my video